The file tab of the ribbon contains a treasure trove of features that most Excel users never explore. In this video, I'm going to uncover what you'll find in the file tab, including some features only available in 365 versions of Excel. The file tab, previously known as the backstage area, is where you'll find a list of your recently opened workbooks. If you have Office 365, you'll find this list synchronizes with all of your devices, which is super handy for those of us who switch between PCs and laptops. I can open a file from this list and I can pin files that I want to access regularly. Pinned files will stay at the top of this list. I also have a pinned files tab and files shared with me. At the top of the window, you'll find the new blank workbook template and various other templates that you can download and use. And if you want to browse through the templates, click on more templates here. In the info tab, we have the worksheet properties, the creation date, modified and last printed dates, as well as the author and whoever last modified the file. We also have workbook protection settings. We can check the file has any issues or accessibility problems. And if you have Office 365, you can view and restore previous versions and manage workbook access. If you make your file available in SharePoint, you can set the browser view options and restrict what users see when the file is viewed on the web. In the Save a Copy tab, you can make a copy of the file, give it a new name, choose the file type from the drop down, and if you want to change the location, you can click on here to browse to a new folder. We're going to cover saving files separately, so I won't go into it anymore here. The print tab gives you a print preview and allows you to modify the print settings. Again, we're going to cover printing in a separate lesson. On the share tab, Office 365 users can share their files, choosing the edit settings, the recipient, and whether they send a copy of the Excel workbook or a PDF. Let's go back to the file tab and keep working through the options. In the export tab, you can create a PDF or XPS document. You can change the file type. And then in publish, if you have Power BI, you can publish your file to Power BI and work with it there. Close is an alternative to clicking the X in the top right. So I'm not going to click that, that will close my window. At the bottom, you have the account tab. Here you can see I'm logged into my Office 365 account. I'm running the spring background. You can change that and the colorful Office theme. I'm connected to my OneDrive accounts, and my SharePoint site, and that means I can easily choose where I open and save files from. Over on the right, you can see I have an Office 365 Pro Plus license and I'm on the Office Insider channel and that's currently on version 1906. The What's New icon will open a task pane in the workbook with information about new features that are available in the current build. And you can scroll through there and get more information. So you can see the file tab has a plethora of information and tools that you can use. Have a poke around in there before moving on to the next lesson.